So first things first, I'm going to take this design, I'm going to break it down just to understand the shapes. So just those basic shapes that make up the design. Not necessarily the anatomical shapes because I'm going to include the hat and some of the design elements in the costume. But yeah, just try to understand the shapes that make up this design, alright? And then that's going to make things a lot easier when it comes to posing my character. And it's pretty quick just to figure that out. I don't need a perfect drawing, I just need to establish those shapes. With those shapes clear in my head, I can start drawing. And I know I want this character leading the charge into battle. So I'm starting with a, a line of action which is kind of thrusting forward. And there's a few ways I can approach this pose. So in this one it's kind of like a striding pose, sword out. And that's the main statement. And everything else is going to follow through from that. Another potential pose, similar idea, sword out. But I want a bit more dynamism, so I kind of feel like the first one felt a bit stiff. So what if I make the character feel like they're leaning back a bit, you're looking a little slightly up at them. Um, yeah, you get a different dynamic and it feels more dynamic. And I'm just exploring lots of ideas. I don't want to just stick with the first idea. So what if I put the sword up in the air and the other hand is kind of clenched fist ready to go, thinking about balance and weight, remember? And always thinking about that clear staging. So we want the staging to be clear, good silhouette, want everything to read. And yeah, I've come up with a different take on the same idea here. The more variations and the more ideas you can play with, the better. Because you don't want to just stick with the first idea. 